Make sure you guys go check out DeForce from Unknown Source Music. He's a rapper. You know, but anyways, let's get into this. This is George Tower JT News. Hit that bell, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you guys go check out DeForce from Unknown Source Music. He's a rapper slash producer, painting his own canvas, the good, the bad, and the ugly. His Instagram, YouTube, everything is below. You know, so, uh, anyways, we'll have to see what happens. This is all allegedly until everything's proven, but that footage right there is, is bad. It's bad, and uh, I can't condone that. Can't condone a man putting his hands on a woman at all. That's that's cowardly. Uh, and I know he mostly this was an agreement between her father and Fab. Like he must, they must really never get along. The father, her father and Fab, because he was really mad about that. It looked like in that footage. And I can understand, you know, like the, the sometimes you know, the family doesn't get along, but. You know, the fact that it came out, allegedly he knocked her teeth out. I mean, that's, I don't know how that's, you know, whew, wow. Uh, anyways, guys, what do you guys think in the comments below? I appreciate you guys. This is uh, George Tower JT News. Hit that bell. Hit this. Okay, so I know you've seen his commercials, DeForest commercials from Unknown Source Music. He's part of a group of guys. He's here with us today. How you doing, man? I'm good. I'm good, homie. So... You told me that you got a new music video coming out. You got a, you got a new project coming out. A lot of people saw your ad for your last mixtape and videos that we pushed traffic to. And, you know, I'm sure people, you know, the go, go, go and all those type of things. So tell me what you got coming and, you know, tell me, just tell me about your, how you got into the music business and everything and, you know, everything. All right, well... First things first, uh, we got a, uh, a big tape coming out. Okay. It's a uh, welcome to the circus. Okay. Uh, got a video coming off of that as well. It's already shot. Uh, yeah, it's shot. It's all done. Nice. It's just ready to. Uh, we we are also working with a uh, Curtis Dane, mm -hmm. who's a singer. Uh, he's coming out with a, a video also called That Good. The single is out and available. We're working on a remix right now. Okay. So that's going to drop also. And he's also uh, on Unknown Source Music? That's correct. That's dope. Yeah, we got a few artists on the label, so. Awesome. Yeah. So how did you get into making music? How long have you been making music? I've been, ma <laughs> I've been making music for a long time. A long time. Yeah. I, won't, I, won't put, I won't put the years out there. But it's been a long time. Okay. Yeah. And uh, do you see growth during that time? Well, yeah. Well, for sure. Cause I was able to make a living off of it. Oh, okay. So yeah. you you just do music? Well, I produce, I rap. You know, in the early beginning, I did a lot of promo. We did a lot of promo work. Mm -hmm. you know, manager, you know, he had all the hookups back in the day. Yeah. So, you know, uh we come out and help him do all that promo. Oh, that's awesome. So, with a work for a lot of uh, no name, you know. Well, that's a blessing because you know you've been able to make a career out of something you love. Yeah, well, for sure, I d I did it the right way, you know. Yeah. The fame didn't come with it, but at least the money the money was there. I was able to do. That's that. what matters yeah. the most. You got some people that are broke as hell that are famous. I know, I know. <laughs> like you got a lot of these Instagram stars that uh, run into stores and pretend to steal stuff. They're really broke, though. Yeah, for sure. I know. I know the deal, man. It's sad. It's it's very sad because a lot of these these dudes out here, they you know, they put in the same hours. And they, but I was lucky, though, for real. Yeah, I was lucky. I got to to get hooked up early with a lot of wisdom from cat that were doing it. You know, oh, dudes awesome. like. They spit game to me, Master P. Mm -hmm. um, I was able to take that advice from them, them dudes, you know. We did a promo for uh, Roy Jones. Mm -hmm. You know how Roy Jones moves, you know. He does most of his stuff by himself. Yeah. You know, and it's, so, I mean, we were always surrounded around strong individuals that was doing, you know, independent stuff. Oh, that's awesome, man. So 
now you're just focused on just making your own music. Yeah, for sure, for sure. It was like that from day one. We was always doing our own thing. And, you know, music itself for me was just a, an experiment. You know what I mean? I did it as an experiment. Yeah. I wanted to express my painting. The way I didn't want to copy, you know, somebody else. I wanted to do my own thing. Absolutely. And, uh, that's important. So I was able to make money, so I wasn't doing the try to doing a fine base. You know, or, or, or what I was doing my own thing. I was the one from two short for me in the beginning to do your own thing, make your own mark. Don't sound like nobody. Make sure you do it, you do it. Even if you get a dollar off of it, it's you're your own man. Don't copy nobody else. You know, I was, uh, I wanted to ask you this because your, your style seems a lot different than a lot of things I've heard. What mm. was your influence? I was influenced by everybody. Like I, I mean, I was influenced by everybody. Mm. E forty, Too Short, Meth, Red, Tupac, Nas. You know, Rakim. Rakim was a big influence on me. So, mm. I mean, I was influenced by everybody. But I always remember: do your own thing. It's an, you're experimenting. You do your own paint, painting. Yeah. You know what I mean. So even though my music does not sound like somebody else's music, that was the whole agenda. I wanted to do my own thing. I wanted my own mind. Yeah. Whether, people, whether they didn't like it, whether they thought it was whack, whatever the case, I wanted to do my own thing, which is what I did. Yeah, it's definitely different than a lot of things I hear out here. And uh, how long did it take you to get your own style? Like, Well, it was, a, it, it was an experiment. Basically. You know what I mean? It was a, from, from the beginning, it was... Like if you listen to some of the earlier stuff, you can hear the Prince influence, mm -hmm. the Gap influence, some of the Snoop influence. You could, you know, it was one big melting pot, basically. Yeah. You know? Nah, that's dope. Nah, that's real dope. So you got a new project coming. You got this coming. So what do you think? What do you listen to now? Like you know, being uh, in the culture, uh, what what sticks out to you that you kind of like? You know. I like everything, to be honest with you. Okay. The mumble, the mumble rap, uh -huh. it's not one of my favorite, but I'm still open to it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm still open. I, I, I'm not gonna diss it because it's still it's like it's still part of the culture. You know what I mean? Them young dudes that's doing it came from us, so I'm not gonna diss it, even though they they don't understand, you know. The real culture of hip hop, right? It's it's kind of they got to grow through go through that process as well. You know yeah, what I mean? so. yeah, I agree with that. You know, it's like when I grew up, like my my era was more like you know DMX and you know stuff like that. So it's like when uh, when I look, I can't I can't get into Run DMC and stuff like that, but I still respect it. You know, because right. it was part of you know the growth of the culture but like anything everything evolves over time right right for sure well run dmc was one of my favorites okay i mean when i was a youngster i just ran that out like so many tapes we were just running i just ran it out you know, you know what I'm yeah saying? absolutely yeah so it's like it's whatever identifies with your coming you know you coming up you know that's what's that's what's funny about music you know uh you can identify certain times of your life with music. You know, that's what's cool about it. That's right. That's right. So, um, what, what, what do you see next for yourself? You know, you're doing, you got another tape dropping. Uh, you know, we always got to look at growth. What do you, what do you envision for yourself? Well, I just want to drop a lot of young cats, you know, you know what I'm saying? I want, I want some of these cats to make some money. Yeah. You know? It's it, at the end of the day, you got to make money. You know what I mean. So that's that's up been a, an objective for me. So that's why you have this label with uh, your partners to put on new cats and show them how to make money independently. That's right. At least stay alive. Yeah, absolutely. Get off, get off these streets. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely don't do the wrong thing. Do the right thing. <laughs> That's it for sure. You know what I mean? Because that's what it is at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? These 
these young dudes, they're going to have kids. Yeah. And then it, it, it continues. You know what I'm saying? We don't want it to continue. Absolutely. No, it's, it's, it's right, man. Um, so when, when can we look forward to this tape? And also, where can people reach you if they want to get in contact with you? Well, if they want to get in contact with me, we could be, you can uh, email unknown source music at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. Or the Instagram stuff, Fred Force Dog. Uh, Facebook, the Dog uh, One. Twitter, UNKS Music. What else is there? LinkedIn, the Force Dog. Mm -hmm. That's how we'll we'll link all his major ones below and his website. And uh, we'll also tell you guys when he has a next, another project coming out, which is in about, what, three, four weeks, right? That's right. Welcome to the circus. Welcome to the circus. And he has that, that video dropping. All right, man. Anything else you want to tell the people? No, I just, I just want, you know, to encourage the youngsters to keep doing what they're doing. You know, stick with the grind. And don't get swept up in the game. Yeah, absolutely. Don't don't let people tell you your shit's whack either. You know, somebody who likes it. I said the world's made of all kinds. You know what I mean? Absolutely. To my supporters, you know, most of my supporters are are people that really look for something different. So that's that's what it is. You know, your music might be something that's totally different. You gotta go look for your supporters. And encourage them to keep doing it. Absolutely. Well, guys, make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you tune in below. Uh, appreciate you guys tuning in. We'll check you out.